Hello, everybody. God, I just did the whole intro and was muted. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Zio Morales, your host of the Coast Country Podcast. We're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Mustafar Galactic Championship Hyperspace Qualifier. Super excited to be here. Uh, today, I'm joined by Stephen Parker. How's it going? I'm Stephen Parker of Dad Gaming. <laughs> I'm Steven Parker from Dials and Dice Gaming, otherwise known as Dad Gaming. Um, we stream X-Wing. Uh, I've been doing some squadrons lately. You can find us on Twitch and YouTube at Dials and Dice. All right. And we are also joined by Philip Pond. Indeed. Hi, I'm Phil from the Firestorm Squadron Firecast. Again, you can find us on YouTube and Twitch streaming every other Friday night. Good afternoon, Dion. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Now, I am rushing over to the betting bot because these guys, I would tell you, Dale Cromwell is probably one of the most aggressive players I have ever seen play. <laughs> he, oh, yes. he plays like a, like a, like a crazy person uh, in the best yeah. in the best way, in the best way. Dale right. gave me my first loss yesterday, and uh, we're both <laughs> we're good friends. And, uh, yeah, it was a bloodbath, an absolute bloodbath. Uh, although it does turn out Von Reg doesn't like having a Rick Cargo shooting two proton bombs dropped on his head. Um, but still, yes, Dale is a very aggressive player. If you don't know uh, much about uh, jousting, Dale is the absolute king of jousting, even if when he shouldn't, he still does. And this... it works out because it's Dale. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Joust me, yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so uh, let, let's go ahead and break down these lists. Uh, cool, yeah, so uh, if you want to break down uh, Jace uh, Steven, then go for it, and I'll do Dale. Alright, so on the left side of the board, we have Jace with the Republic, and he has got a um, Jedi Knight Swarm, kind of. Uh, he's got, uh, what is it, four Jedi Knights with CLT, and Broadside with Ion Cannon Turret, so he's going to be wanting to try to ionize things with Broadside, and line up those bullseyes with the COT. Dude, yes, and on Dale's side, you have Major Von Rogue with Daredevil, you have Kylo Ren with Advanced Optics, and you have Rush with automatic, uh, Automated Target Priority, so the new ATP. Um, this is something that's a bit of a contention. Not a lot of people have uh, seen it yet. This was the first time I played against it, uh, and it can be used for against you, so I'm interested to see how Dale goes about using it in this particular game, but should we give one they're already going into engagements? Because I said this is what Dale does. All right, here we All go. Right. Getting into it. We got three dice coming from range three, hit crit, <laughs> spending the focus. Why not? Kylo Ren <laughs> or so spending wow. a force. Three hits right in the opening, going at broadside. Double blanks. Because Dale. <laughs> so shields are gone. Now, one thing that we should have noted, the crit technically would have gone down to a hit. In this situation, it did not matter, but just for, uh, just so that we can get that, uh, that Y-Wing plated hole going in our mind. Well, Broadside is going to go ahead and uh, gonna go ahead and get rolling here. Two dice from long range. Going to go ahead and sped his focus. And got the squiggles. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to do damage on that one. Uh, it should have been nice as well, but it doesn't matter because Dale just rolls out of it. Another shot, Jedi Knight. This one is in the bullseye, so the calibrated laser targeting will be on. One hit. Add the focus. Spend it for two. Got him. All right. So no damage there. Dale coming out on top in this initial engagement. Uh, aggression meets aggression right here, right out of the gate. Yep. Does not surprise me. Uh, I do like, though, what Jace is doing with the, the Jedi Knights. I think Red's a little far out at the moment. Um, but he, yeah, he wants to try and bring them in, get those CLTs to bear, probably on Major Von Reg if he can, knowing that there's only the full hole there. Um, but I think 
Dale's objective here is to burn down the Y-Wing as quickly as possible, get rid of Broadside, get rid of those uh, that, that trigger, and get rid of that Ion Cannon as quickly as he can, because a Ionized Von Reg or Ionized um, Kylo is not a very happy Von Reg or Kylo. Sad day. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that too. Um, it, the smart thing to do would be to get Broadside off the board for your aces. So what what maneuvers do you think could uh, what what do you think? I mean, is Dale just going to be going like too forward and just like locking it and trying to erase it? What do we think? Oh yeah, Dale is going to go aggression here. You're gonna, I think you'll see probably moving five forward uh, focus boost from yellow uh, from Rush uh, at the I two level to to come in there. You'll see again most likely the forwards or five forwards from Von Regen Kylo is what he wants to get rid of uh, broadside as quickly as possible and then get to the other side and then come around again. Um, you know, as like the resistance A-wings like they're, they're running and passing during their, their flybys, uh, he's going to want to try to do a similar effect, get rid of broadside and come around the back of the Jedi, get out of those CLT arcs as quickly as he can. And yes, unfortunately, the, the chat there especially pointing out that uh, I can't talk about rolling out of things, uh, considering, again, what happened with Koshi yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry rolled 11 out of 12 of AIDS when she shouldn't have done. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't unfortunately pick up the fact they were trying to. Oh, poor chap. <laughs> it's interesting to see Kylo here in the top cut. He, I mean, probably mainly because it's the uh, hyperspace. But you haven't seen Kylo very much in these top cuts. Uh, no, we haven't. We had a um, an outlier last week with uh, Mark Worrell bringing a supernatural reflexes uh, Kylo. This one is obviously a, a very uh, stripped down Kylo Ren, but really interesting. You could see with the build that Dale has, he's he is all offense, right? Putting advanced optics on Kylo Ren says, "I have the force to modify my." Uh, my eyeballs and I got optics to do the uh, the blank results. I am going to hit you for three every turn, or at least I'm going to try. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who know Dale, know that's not really a surprise. Uh, Dale does aces uh, very well in. Well, you know, uh, let, let's let's this talk. Martin Chivers list. Apparently, let, though, from so Martin Chivers, of course, uh, won the UK system a couple of years ago. Sorry, Dale, uh, Dion, go on. No, no, no worries. That's that's great information. Thank you for that. So let's talk a little bit about his play style so um he's known for jousting with aces and he's like just 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 rushing in right just rushing mm. in and the um one of the things that while that looks like like crazy <laughs> like craziness it does often catch opponents off guard he does really well pretty often with this strategy and especially when you're playing against someone who spreads out their squad like jace did now mind you these jedi have the enough maneuver maneuverability to get into the fight quickly but we have seen times where where people have spread out and the that ship that ends up in that top corner on the other side of the fight takes two or three turns to actually get back into it so uh, versus a swarm i'm not surprised to see or it's not really a swarm but a, a lot of ships that are spread out on a single table i'm not surprised to see dale rush in see what he can pick off early and then move on from there yeah it's a, it's a good strategy for uh it's what you dale usually does but he can you can pick apart and as, as you're saying dion with the, the ships being spread out allows you uh, allows Dale to just pick his target, move on to the next one, and try and stay out of arc as best he can. Uh, I'm not quite sure uh, what uh, Jace is going to do to try and counter that. I think he's thinking about Kylo and Vol coming in here, trying to line up as many CLT arcs as possible, try to trap them and try and put as many dice in there uh, as he can. But yes, it can catch people off guard if you're not used to it. So this Jedi is yeah, it looks like, boosting um... in. Go ahead. Yeah, it looks like Jace is, is trying to meet the aggression here by getting these aces in um, faster this this turn here. I mean, the, the Jedi Knights. Mm-hmm. So, using some of those fine-tuned controls, getting into it. And you can see the barrel roll there. That red Jedi was in that top left corner, kind of all, oh, all alone. Trying yeah. to get into what the fight. I like though is that he's used oh, red now man. to kind of put a nice little gap behind uh, yellow, pink, yellow, green, and um, 
broadside so that if Dale does jump over the top of them, he's still got that shot and still can prevent Dale from getting out of it. Thing that Kylo bumped there. Yeah, unfortunately, it does mean Yellow has a CLT shot lined up on him and even Brown as well. I guess you're allowing on the force. Yeah, that it is it is a strategy for sure. Um, <laughs> I mean, you you got it right. You got it. Yeah. It's it's a modifier, and that that is the thing. He is in uh, he's in yellow's bullseye. He might just barely be in browns. If not, he's still taking a range one shot, even if he's not. So he took the strain on Bonreg. That's interesting. He's just trying to trying to get broadside to blow up. Yep, this is a full aggression. And also, you know what that also does? That is a temptation. That's what that is. It's like, hey, look at my strain Von Reg. Please, please shoot it. Don't <laughs> ignore Kylo. Ignore my most expensive right. ship. All right. Hit crit. Oops. Sorry, guys. Got the reroll. I think he's thinking about spending the, the focus he there. He sure is. I mean, he shouldn't, but this is Dale, so he probably will. Yep. <laughs> or Dave Cromwell, as I should refer to him as. <laughs> so the crit gets turned down to a hit because of the plated hull. If the if the crit would have come off, uh, would have appeared off of one of Dale's modifications, then that would have uh, the crit can stay. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit in the middle. So not going full aggression. We do get the school uh. there. One damage. So that's half points on broadside. He's playing a little coy, but he does have two other ships shooting six dice into him. Only needs to do four more damage to get broadside off the table. Which is very possible. Mm-hmm. Trail Meeks. Spend the focus. And this was uh, Kylo. Sorry, not spend yep. the focus. Spend the force. Uh, yeah, the force. Got the squiggle again. Oh. Looks like Dale might regret it, might might end up regretting not spending that focus. Takes another damage. He's got to get all three through with Rush. Mm-hmm. And depending on he might um, Jace may target Rush to try to strip that focus token for the mods on offense because he is a, a two still. It is for now. The, the the thing for Dale here, though, potentially, is if Rush has Arc on Brown, and he's got those choices at range 1, he has to choose something at range 1 because of the, the ATP, depending on which... Um, mm -hmm. If... And I do think that Pink's at, uh, broadside at range 1, he'll have to go into um, his broadside here if he wants to, but if he doesn't not, he won't have to. He won't, he will, sorry, he'll have to go somewhere else. Yeah. All right, so here that brown Jedi Knight just took a shot. Bullseye adds the focus. We'll spend here. Two hits. Looking at Kylo Ren. Kylo, Natty's <laughs> out. Just roll Natty's, baby. Course. We got the next Jedi. The villain, where, do you, where did you? Uh, where are you putting your? money on this which side uh i tried to keep my bias out a bit but i've, I've got to put up on dale <laughs> <laughs> so we got that range one shot going into von reg okay so the bait has been taken so i think it's 
Spends a focus, taken two. That's half in it, yeah. Yeah, that that's is. Half, half on the on, and, on regular. And still has another range one shot potentially coming in. Now the strain goes off. We'll make sure they uh, they don't miss that. All right, they got the strain. Nope, the strain's got to come off. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has Dale has the right number of dice, so that's what matters. And spends oh, a focus wow. for three. CLT doing some work. Two dice out the box. Doesn't and that is not enough. Bye bye, Von Reg. Oof. Von Reg gone. That was quite the trade he was looking for. Now, what's it, what is Rush's ability, guys? Uh, so, until Rush um, takes a damage card, he he's fine at uh, I2, but as soon as he takes a damage, he becomes I6. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but you ha works. you'll have yeah. to engage in that phase, though. So, for example, uh, if he were to take the damage in this phase, um, where he would de uh, the Jedi Knights are I4, he would then immediately engage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People were talking about it in the chat at the beginning of the game, um, interested how that ability worked, just because... Um, it can be confusing if you're not sure when the when the engagement happens when he takes damage. Yep, the highest available initiative ship <laughs> shoots first is essentially what happens. And here's what I was, I was saying earlier, though. It looks as though uh, with Broadside shooting, he's at range two, which means if um, that Brown is in Rush's arc, he has to shoot Brown with those ATP. Sure does. Assuming that it's an arc, that's going to be the mm -hmm. question. It is close. The broadside change one to a focus. Going to go and spend for three. Oh, oh, Kylo is going to be ionized. Shield Not and an good. ion. I will tell you from, from the table audio, Dale sounds sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounding a little sleepy. It looks like Brown yeah. is in arc at range of one. All right. And yeah, yeah he does have to fire at him. Range one into Brown. Remember that. And he doesn't have a choice there. That is how that card is worded. Four dice. Oh, hello there. Takes four hit oh. four hits. Could wipe out a Jedi right here. That would be good for him. <laughs> I would be very good for that at this point. Alright, takes three. Nothing you can do about that. Down to one hole on the brown Jedi Knight. So where are these guys going next round here? Well, I know I know Kylo is going one straight. Yeah, we know Kylo is going the one straight. Um, Rush, I don't know. Um, Five five K all day for Brown, right? Like that's just gonna happen. You, there, there's yeah. why would you not? Do you already have the bullseye lined up? You're gonna line up on the other side too. Yeah, I think you see a one bank uh, from green and potentially a one bank from yellow. Doesn't matter if they bump; they still have shots lined up on Kylo. Uh, broadside, probably a again a one bank to where green is currently, and you'll see red come up to to meet them all and just put as many guns into Kylo as possible. Doesn't matter where Rush goes. If you can wipe out Kylo here, that's game. Yep. So looking Certainly. at the looking at the the point spread right now. So yeah, that Brown Jedi and I definitely lost a shield. We'll get that updated in a second. But uh, with the score right now, fifty-seven to forty-one, uh, Jace is really ahead. If he can get 
the if you can get Kylo to half points, that's going to be huge, absolutely massive. There's another 40 points added on there. Um, Dale is going to have both force, I believe, available. Yes, both force are available. I mean, it's with the number of shots coming in. What the I think the real question is, what can Rush do to help Kylo take the least amount of damage? It's it's a, it's a difficult one. I think that the most he can do is try and try and get the blocks for yellow and green to stop them from having tokens to stop the focuses so that uh, right. with those CLTs lined up he won't quite have the same effect. I think that's the the best choice for Dale here. Maybe he just does a one hard and sits right there in the gap. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. And Broadside's going to continue to have uh, have that side shot, shot as well. If you're assuming that the Jedi are going to be moving up, mm. Broadside should could very easily just do that nice little one bank. But yeah, I mean, that's why Ka Dale identified very early. Say, look, I like to play aggressive. I need to kill Broadside on the first turn. And he has he has the tools to do it, right? Yeah. A, a combination of... Von Reg not doing max damage, and then also, you know, the broadside got his squiggles of his own. He's entitled to squiggles of his own. Uh, oh, yeah. that, was, that was enough to keep him alive. You know what? I can actually there see, the more I look at it, I can actually see Brown just doing a two forward, bumping into uh, to Rush, so that Kylo will bump into um, Brown, so he won't have a focus token. And that way you've got both uh, broadside green and yellow, all shooting at Kylo with only the force. Well, that's very true. <laughs> Xpov in the chat says, hey, Dion, can you hurry up the tournament? They're going to turn off power here around 3 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> oh, they're, 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 uh, yeah, I think they're controlling uh, electricity in California because of the uh, wildfires. Oh, wow. Uh. Mm -hmm. Well, the chat is pointing out that Rush does move uh, before but again, I can still see Brown just doing the 2 4 Kylo anyway to um, uh, to negate that focus. So, yes, yeah, chat point out very uh, correctly that Rush does best. 4K? There it is. Not not a 4K? Um, no, Max they've just realized that Rush uh, yeah. isn't damaged. <laughs> yeah, Rush is still, uh, still low initiative. There's the hard one. Taking up space, trying trying to uh, stop the actions on green and limit, yellow. Limit the mods. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's the 4K. Takes the stress. Brown will still have a CLT. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's the first bump. That was a sloop. Oh, hyper aggressive there. Oh, there's here's the pile up. Huh. Interesting. Kylo has a chance to not. To, to get out of this because essentially what you're looking for Kylo will likely not die this turn but you just yeah. you don't want the ion all right there you go the three sh that 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 move could be the nail in the coffin there bringing in red I actually forgot about red for a second then <laughs> he comes into my my <laughs> field of view like oh yeah there's another ship he was back up all right ba battle of the natties I like that squadron M <laughs> All right, Kylo, not quite wide enough of an arc to catch the backside of Broad. Here we go. Range one, CLT is on. The only modifier, though, is the force. So that's going to be three hits. Oh. Again, the focus not added there because it's irrelevant because there's no modifiers for it. Use the force here. Take the hero on a red dice. That's range one. Yeah, they have base two dice. Yeah, these uh, are CLT, uh, not CLT. um. 
Uh, yeah, should I have the focus? Yeah, he didn't add the CO2 focus. It didn't. It didn't matter. He yeah, didn't have it. He rolled. He rolled. Um, hit hit focus, and then modified the focus that he had there with the force. Here we go. Next shot. Two hits. Kylo, no damage on that one. Oh no, sorry. Yes, one damage. Force got spent. So that is half in it on Kylo. Sure is. It is, yeah. All right, here's the next. This will be a range two shot into Kylo, or if uh, if Jace gets a little greedy, would could do range one into Rush. But again, that triggers his ability to, as soon as he takes any damage or any damage cards, he goes bumps up to that uh, high initiative and says, no, 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 I'm not going to fall into that trap going at Kylo Ren. Two dice. And after spending the focus, we got two. Kylo getting at least one squiggle a turn. Still alive, though. Still has two hull. Oh, taking 20 odd damage worth of cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't think he noticed. Uh, Nick, can you just can you fix it? <laughs> just fix it yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, Sleepy Dale, what are you doing? So you should have one one more damage card. There you go. And broadside now. Only one. Kylo's licking his lips here. He's going to get out of the ion trap. All right. That's massive. Absolutely massive. That could be a game changer. <laughs> Because a two-hole Kylo Ren can still do some work. Now, he does. He's probably going to. I mean, I, this is Dale Cromwell, though. I, I, I'm gonna, I was going to say, like, oh, he'll probably play a little more cagey now. I was like, well, maybe. I don't know. Dale does not do cagey. Yep. And then Marcel, our very own Marcel Manzano, saying you needed that fifth ship shooting. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do agree there with Marcel. He did need that, that fifth uh, ship shooting. Uh, I also think, though, that uh, Jace got away with one there. That sloop, uh, which got blocked, allowed him to push more damage into Kylo than he would have done uh, anyway. So I, I do think that was kind of a blessing in disguise for him. Mm hmm He wanted that stress. It helps him. It makes him look cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stress makes everyone look cool. That's why you put as many stress on people as possible. It's That's fine. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Idea. No, I, I do wonder what we're going to see here from uh, Kylo Rush, I think, just does the 4K here. I think he just does the 4K and keeps guns on board side. That's what I think you'll see from Rush from Kylo. He may disengage and come back round, but as we said, this is Dale, so nothing is a confirmation there. I don't know. If he does the 4K, though, with an automated targeting priority, he might not have a shot at broadside. This is true, and I said that is the downside to the ATP, is why I'm not sold on it. Yes, it's only a point, but sometimes, I mean, I used it in our game um, against uh, Dale, where I put Bobber, where he stripped the shields off Koshka, so I put Bobber in front of Rush, I went, there you go, you cannot shoot Koshka, and just deny him the shot that would uh, get him the points at that particular turn. Yeah. All right, maybe he does a one hard to the left there, and when Broadside's going to just keep creeping. Uh, yeah, yeah, he could well do. Although I don't know if he would turn that much because of where green is and where red is as well. Yeah, that would that would be really tight. Now, as we continue into this game, we got 45 minutes left. I want to remind you that this game and all of our games this weekend are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code Mustafar2020 for 20% off. Get your acrylic now. Be ready for when. Uh, one day, when we get back in person, you got some shiny, shiny swag to show off on the table. 
And by the way, if you're making any like templates and tokens, uh, want that stuff for any events that you're running, uh, Andrew also does a bunch of commissions for stuff like that. So if you got an idea, he'll make it work and let him know that Gold Squadron sent you. I'm actually um, thinking about commissioning him for my next uh, league event to get some tokens. I just got to figure out what I want. <laughs> All right, here we go. 4K from Rush. You caught it. Pew, pew, pews. Yeah, I think he's betting on... Um... Broadside going right in the middle there. No, mm. red. Red's going to go oh. there. Expecting the 4K, I think. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, again, the automated target priority will likely trigger. If uh, if Broadside is not in range one, he will not be able to choose who he wants to shoot. Maybe he did that just to keep Broadside from dying. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So That's absolutely what we're trying to do, I think. Brown Jedi Knight did bump there. Now this yellow Jedi Knight gonna look for a, a block most likely. Or could you know what? Honestly, that spot is not bad because if uh, Kylo's in front of you, you're shooting him. Oh man, that hard one to the right is looking real sweet for Kylo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kylo, I can hear your hunger. He's probably like, oh nope. Oh, he's done the four K. <laughs> he did the four K. I mean, you know what? Are you are we really surprised? No. I mean, Dave Cromwell, the Count Tesla of Italy, is one of the most aggressive people I've ever met when it comes to this game, and I am hyper aggressive. So I, I am not surprised. I am not surprised in the slightest. All right, so looking at range one, uh, green, yellow are both at uh, at full. Brown has only one hole left. I can't believe Dale came to joust. <laughs> hey, you know that's da Dale. Dale do Dale does Dale things. Doesn't. Two hits. Kylo has not had an opportunity to use those advanced optics this turn. Just no focus available. Got the squiggles there. The battle of the three agility. Got those dice right. holding up. We'll see if Kylo gets to survive. And does convert that. Kylo, no. He has uh. one force, takes two, not enough. Kylo, gone. Short for this world. <laughs> Belinda Mood says, welcome to Exocol. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that really swings the game a lot. Rush all on his own, 137 to 41. Hero of the First Order? <laughs> or just, a fa just another fanatic? Three hits. Takes one. <laughs> well, worse comes to worse. Dale loses his game. He's been blessed with sleep. It is uh, much later in the day. In the oh, in the UK. Okay. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, UK, yeah. Philip, what time is it over there in Europe? In your parts? Uh, it is uh, 20 past five now, thanks to the, uh, the time change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably the other thing, right? You guys are kind of like, it, it feels later than it actually is because you guys had yes. the... Yeah, the clocks went back. It, got, it was two o'clock in the morning twice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I should know because I didn't get to sleep until six o'clock this morning. <laughs> All right, two hits. Ooh, gonna be taking one. But as you saw, the curse, the ATP wants to shoot broadside, couldn't. Right. And now Rush is at initiative six because of his ability. Let's yeah. go ahead and, and b bump it up. Ah, he was he was on it. He was on it. Let's get some gumboats in the chat for Nick. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why you rehired Nick, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rush is uh, ionized. Uh, oh, oh, that was the ion cannon from broadside. Yes. Yes, so initiative six, but ionized, so it doesn't really have much yeah. maneuverability as you uh, would like. Fair, I don't know if um, Jace can take too much advantage of that ion, uh, with Broadside really now facing the wrong way, green and um, yellow are facing the wrong way. He still has brown to come and do the hard one. Um, I expect you'll see the two sloop from red towards the top of the board. Um, and to try and take advantage of that, but he can't bring everything to bear, but at this point... Uh, you know, an I6 damaged ionized rush is fine. He can still win this, right? I don't know. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I have seen Dale do crazier things. This is this is for sure. So, what were you gonna say there, Stephen? I was just saying crazier things have been done <laughs> with, with one chip on the board. It's true. So there's a sloop. Very nice. Yep, that's going to get an arc on. I think also yellow and brown will get an arc. So even though he won't be able to get all five, he's going to get three. Three of his ships should be should be in the right spot to, to uh, do some damage this turn. Yeah, Jace, Jace has yeah. done really, really well with this list. He's done really well. I'm surprised. Time where I had a Z95 um, survive long enough to take out two ships before the game ended. <laughs> I'm surprised he went with the the boost with uh, Brown though. I thought he would have done the uh, the barrel roll focus and uh, had the CLT shot instead of going for the, the iron loop. I uh, he wants to block. He wants to say, you know, what? I don't even want you to get the focus. I mm. don't even want him to get it because I'm. He's also he is protecting Brown, who has only one hole, so can't get shot. Right. True, and it may also give him arc for broadside as well. There's a focus. And at this point, you can see with the three shots, I mean, we need... D Dale needs to <laughs> lean in the variance right now. Just roll natties, baby. We'll see if, uh, <laughs> if this ion maneuver bumps. It's really close. It does no. not. Ooh, it fits. He Hello there. So, I mean, obviously Rush is going to fire at that one at range one. Just get it off the board. He gets a yeah. focus for defense. You got to remember, yeah. with 35 minutes left, it, it, it can happen. I'm sure Jace, Jace is just hoping that, that all he's doing is trading uh, trading that focus token for that one ship so that Rush doesn't have any mods. That could definitely be a situation. Four dice, range one. Ooh. Hit crit. Uh, ooh, I would be tempted to hold on to it. I think you gotta you gotta lean into hope here. Oh, he's, he's, losing violence. <laughs> he's guaranteeing it. Guaranteed. Why not? All right. With that roll, only had one squiggle. No, not even a squiggle. It's a fo it's a focus, but it doesn't matter. He dead. 
So right there, I'm sure Dale right there is going, ah, oh, dang it. I wish I wouldn't have spent, right? You don't, you don't know what's coming, <laughs> yep. but that's what I was talking about. You're, you're, you, it's a low percentage when you're going for that shot or he hopefully gets more blanks and then I can kill him. Oh, I gotta love Dale for it though. It's just Dale's school of thought is always choosing violence. <laughs> yeah, but little move there. So Dale just wants to go to bed. I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Range one. This does not look like oh, you just barely, just barely yeah. bullseye. Uh. Yeah, there's realizing in the chat there it says unobstructed range one in bullseye. Yep. Two hits, add the focus. That's going to be three. Got two, takes one. Down to two hole on rush. Next range one shot coming in. No CLT. Ooh, oh. hit, crit, crit. D who needs CLT when you just roll hot fire? <laughs> and that's going to be it. Yep. Well, congratulations, yep. Jake. Uh, excuse me, Jace. Jace winning this game. Uh, this is second game on stream during this tournament. We're doing really well with this uh, four Jedi and broadside list. Dale, thank you so much for playing in the event. It was great watching it play. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and ro roll into our giveaways. But before we do that, I want to remind you guys that this round and all of our rounds this weekend brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code MUSTAFAR2020 for 20% off.